Welcome back to Mike's Archer's YouTube and thanks for tuning in again this week. Be sure and hit the subscribe button, the like button, and turn on that bell notification so you know you're getting the latest information from Mike's Archery throughout the fall as all the new products get introduced. So today, guys, we're checking out the new 2020 Cure from Elite. This is the brand new bow that they have completely redesigned all the systems on this bow, made it exceptionally tunable, and done a lot of things that, frankly, Elite probably needed to do for the last several years to make it more competitive in the market. So right off the bat, let's go over the specs on this bow. So the new Cure is coming in at 31 and 13 16 axle to axle. Overall weight on this bow is 4.6 pounds and the brace height is 6 and 9 16 inches. Uh, it does have adjustable draw length and that's all built into the modules on the cam. We'll take a look at that in a second. But it's adjustable from 23 all the way out to 30 inches in draw length in quarter inch increments. So you can really fine tune that draw length for you. On top of that, it's got adjustable let off from 70 to 90% let off all built into those modules. Now the other thing that they've added that's new this year is what they're calling set technology. It's their simple exact technology to allow you to adjust the cam from left to right in the limb pocket. So it's going to allow you to broadhead tune uh, and really fine tune what you're getting if you're getting left and right tears because of your torque uh, in the riser, whatever it is you've got going on. This is going to allow you to tune that out uh, and really get an exact tuning of your arrow to make it more uh, precise matching your broadheads with your field points uh, and taking all that uh, left and right or up and down tear out of the out of the shot. So on top of that they've also changed the uh, the stabilizing pockets here the way that they built this with some stabilization in there as well as the tri-track cams. So that built into the cans is their tri design with the cables and strings all built into there and again we'll get a little close-up look to that. So on top of that they added that linear uh, roller guard that allows you to tune in your roller guard as well. That's going to allow you to move that in and out just to take the torque out of the cables uh, and also allow you to set the, that adjustment there. Uh, one of the other things I noticed that they changed for this year is the grip. Uh, they slimmed that grip up a little bit and really feels good in the hand. And some of the things that uh, with the old bows they had the integrated draw length modules. It was okay but frankly it was really difficult for the dealer. So from a standpoint of changing out your draw length, if you needed something adjusted on those cams, an Elite wasn't easy to do. You had to really break that bow down. You had to have a press to change everything. This new bow, you can adjust all that draw length, your let off, everything right here on the bow, no press needed, uh, and have a ton of adjustment. And when it comes to resale, or you passing it on to a family member or something to that effect, you've got a lot of adjustment there. You're not locked in it. If you're 28 and a half inch draw, then you got to go get a new set of modules, break the bow down, change it all out. That's not necessary anymore with the new Elite. So they got a lot of great features packed into this bow for 2020. So the new Cure is coming in at an IBO speed rating of 335. And the other thing I noticed in the manual is that the Cure manual actually breaks it down for you based on your draw length. Uh, the manual will tell you what the IBO speed should be for each individual draw length. So if you got a general idea, uh, we're going to be shooting this one on 29 inches today and it lost about 10 feet per second off that 30 inch mark that most everybody else measures them at. So really the IBO is going to be 325 on this rather than 335. So taking a look at that new cam system, obviously just a, a set of Allen wrenches, but it's going to be the Torx head. It's not a standard set of Allen wrenches. It's going to be the Torx head. Um, three screws on here, you can back those out, slide this around and look through a very nice little hole here in the, in the module cam and you can see where that draw length actually is as you're adjusting it. Now once you get that adjusted and tightened back down, they have a couple different options out here on your let off. Now Elite's always had the limb stop option, and this bow still has a limb stop option that you can mount right here on this adjustable let off peg. So this, on the top of the cam, you're gonna be able to loosen that screw, slide that out, and adjust your let off from 70 all the way out to 90% let off, and then also, fine-tune that with your limb stop uh, that's going to hit your limb pad here on the limb. So you can fine-tune that a little bit as well moving that around. From there, if you take a look at inside the limb pockets, uh, this new set technology that they've come out with, you're going to be able to loosen up a lock screw right here on the center of your riser and then literally turn an Allen head that's going to allow you to take tail left and tail right out of the, the arrow the way it flies. So you're just going to be able to turn that a half to a full turn and it's going to cant uh, 
the limbs and, and apply pressure to one limb more than the other that's going to allow you to, to put a little cant into your limbs and also into your cam here and that's going to allow you to tune that left and right out uh, if you're broadhead tuning or you're getting a left tear because you're torquing the bow whatever you're doing there um, that's causing that you're going to be able to tune that out right here in the riser and then lock it right down so that it doesn't move after that now that's something that we've not seen on any bow before uh, so this is brand new for 2020. I, I don't know anybody that's got that technology built into it. So that's pretty exciting and new. Now as you come down to where the rest mounts on the cable guard, they've got the linear tunable roller on here. So you've got a, a solid roller guard holding your cables in place, and then you've got the laser etched adjustments on here. So you loosen up a couple screws, you're able to slide that back and forth to adjust that um, pressure that you've got on your cables as to whether it's it's pulling those cables out of alignment a little bit. Again, another option for you to be able to tune just a little bit there uh, and take some of the pressure off the cables uh, and off that tri design that's built into the cams. So guys, we're going to shoot this through the chronograph today just to kind of see what kind of speeds we're getting out of this new bow. As always, we're shooting it with a 400 grain arrow on 29 inches draw length uh, and it's going to be set on the 90% let off. So when we take a shot, keep that in mind that those speeds obviously are are going to be uh, based on those increments and those specs as to where we're shooting them. So let's take a shot here and see what uh, what this thing feels like. All right, so we got 280 feet a second out of this bow, and again, 400 grain air, 29 inch draw, and with the 90% let off on it. So. There's a lot of room there to, to pick the performance and the speed up out of this bow, depending on your draw length and, uh, and where you like that lead off set at. So a couple of things we noticed right off the bat, very smooth draw. And Elite's known for their extremely smooth draw. This is no different. Even though they've completely redesigned these cams, they did not lose that smoothness. When it comes over, even with that 90% let off, you're not getting a ton of jerk or drop as you, as you drop into that full draw spot. Um, and of course, if you like that back wall of a really firm back wall, now I'm shooting this one with the cable stops on it. Uh, I have not put the limb stops on it. And frankly, it's still very solid with just the cable stops on it. And I'm sure if you went and put that limb stop on it and you want to have that specific really hard back wall that you can stand on, that is an option to put on here. Uh, some of the other things you can do with that limb stop, you can cause that limb stop to catch before your cable stops or even after your cable stop so that you know that when you hit the cable stop you've hit the wall but then you can pull through just a little bit harder and you're going to get that firm back wall on top of that so you can double up and actually adjust where that limb stop is going to hit and where it's going to be in the draw cycle. Um, I did notice the grip um, as far as the um, ritual in the past had a good feeling grip but this I think they've slimmed it down just a little bit from what I'm feeling. Uh, it sits really well in your hand. No hand shock, no vibration out of this bow. Uh, and as always, we're shooting them stripped down. So when you start putting a stabilizer and, and mounting your sights and everything on there, it takes a little bit more out of it. But overall, it's a fantastic shooting bow. Uh, and it ought to be for, uh, for one of those flagship top end bows. And uh, take a look at it for 2020. I think you're going to have a fantastic elite bow coming at you with the Cure that's going to have tunability that, that they've never had before out of a bow. Thanks for tuning in to our YouTube channel. If you like what you're seeing from Mike's Archery, please hit the subscribe button. Give us some like on social media. And as always, comments are welcome in the comment section. We love to hear from all our customers. See you on the next video.